All right, good morning. It's May Day, May 1st. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go out and uh, dash today or not, but um, I'm going to do a month in review for April. I made just under $2,000 for the month. It was like nineteen seventy-eight, and about 1200 of that was tips. I did like a week of maintaining 70%. Uh, I also did a a day where I just took high paying orders or a couple of days where I was just taking high paying orders. And then also, um, I did a day where I took everything that was over 325 just to show, um, what customers do. So I did a total of 280 deliveries for the month of April <clears throat> and I'm going to double check it, but I believe I only had two that were non tips. So, you know, again, they are tipping. Customers are tipping. People who tell you they're not are really not informed because the majority of them, I would bet, you know, even nationwide are tipping. Of course, this is my area, Johnson County. And I would say I probably declined 50 to 60 for the month, give or take. Um, my acceptance rates, I believe, is at 82%, which means that I took 82 of the last 100 orders. Um, so, you know, again, you know, it's just not, it's not a bad deal. It's not terrible like people are saying. Uh, the video is probably not going to be very exciting, but it is going to show all my orders to show tips I've got. You know, I'm not good. I'm going to tell you, not good at editing and doing stuff and and my uh limited on what i can do on videos but i'm gonna put a few stickers you know on some uh pictures you know screenshots i took to show all my orders and everything uh so you know but i think i'm even limited on what i have available there and i'm just not into buying stuff like that to you know really jack it up and unfortunately i can't figure out how to really get my text color coded or anything like that yet so but anyway 280 orders, $2,000. I think my average uh, order was just a little over seven bucks. And again, I did some experiments because, you know, the money is nice and everything, but it's not necessary as for just doing other things or what I want to do. Uh, this gets me out of the house since I am retired, so I'm not bored and, and doing stuff. Um, I'll also go back and maybe I'll throw a little bit at the end of this video. Um, but I think probably... You know, there was a couple of days I only did a few orders. It just wasn't, you know, the market didn't seem to be doing anything. So I just quit. I don't like to be frustrated because I really don't like to be out there not working. So if I go out, I want to do my deal, feel like I've earned what I want to earn or whatever, or just feel like I've been busy enough <clears throat> and then call it a day. And I think there was a few days that I don't work, that I didn't work. So maybe five to seven days out of the month, I didn't do anything. And I'll double check that because I'm just not 100% sure. Uh, so anyway, I hope y'all enjoy the video. I hope you get to at least see, you know, what's in my market, what's going on, and get an idea of, you know, really, if you're thinking about door dashing, and, you know, and I honestly believe this in my heart, to, of all hearts, that if you believe that you want to door dash, you have to go out and you have to work every shift and you have to give it, you know, some time, a couple, two, three days on every shift. See what shifts work the best. See what shifts don't work. You know, is cherry picking for you or is it not? You know, this will tell you, you know, without being informed, you know, you really, I don't feel like you can make the most of any gig work app. You know, so go out and test your market. Do what you want, you know, do it all. You know, personally for me, I don't work nights. I'm not going to work nights, so I haven't been out. I've heard people in my area say that nights are really good. I just don't do them. I'm usually back at the house by two, you know, probably maybe a third of the month, 10 days out of the month. I work past that, but I just don't usually. So, you know, take the time if you get into door dashing or any other gig market and test the market. See what's really profitable and good for you. You know, don't just take the word of people on the internet. Not me. You know, my market's my market. I can tell you that, you know. But I do feel there are strategies and stuff. 
a lot of times I take an order from one town because it's taking me into the next town over and I would rather make six, seven dollars driving that drive because I'm going there anyway than not make anything. That's a common sense deal. If I'm going home and I get an order that leads me in my direction of home, I'll take an order going home if it's three, four, five dollars because I'd rather make something because I'm going there anyway. There are tips and tricks in this deal that can help you if you, you know, for lack of better word, get off high horses. You know, a lot of people on, on this gig app won't take certain orders, you know, or they're worried about the tips. You know, they, they tell you tips are not included. You may not get a tip, you know, and that's fine. You know, it's not, it's not the ideal situation for sure. I'm not trying to say it is, but you know that going in. So you have to look at your app. You have to look at the order in front of you and say, is this worth it? Whether there's a tip or not. Jerry Jones, owner of the Cowboys, once said years ago, don't let your money get mad. I take that to heart in the fact that I don't care who's paying me, whether it's a customer or DoorDash. A $10 order, whether it's 10 for DoorDash, zero for the customer, five and five, eight and two, whatever the situation may be. $10 is $10. I don't care who gives me my money. So, you know, that's other things to think about. I'm not sitting here dealing with a bunch of people on a daily basis in my life that I think they need to respect me or anything. You know, these are people that I may deliver to three or four times a month, you know, and I honestly feel if you put good out there, good will come back. So anyway, enjoy it. I hope that you at least get an idea of what's going on in my area. And if it sways you to do something different, great. If not, you know, do the things that you do. Enjoy your day.